Hello everyone, this is tutorial 10 and today our first task is about Romberg integration. So here we are given an integral that is going from 0 to pi and the function is sine x ds. So we have to compute the approximation of this integral at i3, 1 using Romberg integration. So I've shown you in the lecture how do you do the table, but we'll do it once again now here. So that it's easier for you to understand how the table is going and how to use the formula. So this is the integral given to us. And now if we use or we try to draw our table, we have at first i1 comma 1, i1 comma 3, sorry, 2, and i1 comma 3. So this is where k is equal to 1 and you derive everything here using the trapezoidal rule, all the integrals. And then you use these two values here to come to the integral at 2 comma 1. And then here you have i 2 comma 2 and this is k is equal to 2. So and then you use these two values here and you'll get i3 comma 1 where k is equal to 3. So now let's go ahead and try to get all these values here i11, one, one, i12, one, and i13 using the multiple stable trapezoidal rule. So let me write down the multiple stable trapezoidal rule formula here. So that's the formula for multiple segment trapezoidal rule. And for the first one, we will use n is equal to one segment. So h will be b minus a. So for us, we have our b is pi and our a is zero. Sorry, a is zero. So we have pi minus 0 divided by n, which is 1. So we have pi over 1, which is pi. And now to calculate i1, 1, 1, we have here h over 2. So h is pi divided by 2 times f of a, and a is 0. Plus, here we have 2 times i is equal to 1 till n minus 1 summation. So n here we have is 1. And 1 minus 1 here will be equal to 0. So we cannot go sum, sum anything from 1 to 0. We cannot run a loop. Therefore, this loop is not functioning in for the first um, or for n is equal to 1 segment, you can say. So we don't consider this part here. And we'll straight go to f of b. So f of b is f of pi. And that is pi over 2 sine 0 plus sine pi over 2. If you put your calculator in radians and you calculate this, you will get the value as 0 here. And then let's double the number of segments. So in case I did not keep in the question the number of segments that you need to use for the integration, you will you will, you will start from one and double the segments each time. So here we have for n for h sorry, we have b minus a that's pi minus zero is pi divided by n is two here so that's our h. And now calculating i1, 2, we have here h is pi over 2 divided by 2, that's pi over 4, times f of a, which is f of 0, plus 2 times the summation from i is equal to 1 until n minus 1. So n is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. f of a is 0, so we have 0 plus 
i times h and h here is pi over 2 plus f of v which is pi. Now here we have pi over 4 times f of 0 plus 2 times the summation is from i is equal to 1 to 1 so from this loop is only run one time so we have f of 0 plus i is 1 1 times pi over 2 is pi over 2 plus 0 is pi over 2 so here we have f of pi over 2 plus f of pi now replacing it with the function we'll have here sine 0 plus 2 times sine pi over 2 plus sine pi. Now again you have to keep your calculated ingredients and when you calculate this you will get the answer as 1.5707 3. Now we'll double the number of segments, so we'll have n is equal to 4, and then we our h will be b minus a, that's pi divided by n, 4, and to calculate i, 1 comma 3, now we have h is pi over 4 divided by 2, so that is pi over 8, times f of a which is f of 0 plus 2 times summation from i is equal to 1 until n minus 1 so n is now 4 4 minus 1 is 3 f of we have 0 plus i times h so i'm not writing the 0 or maybe i should write it in case you don't get confused times plus i times h so h is pi over 4 is f of pi. So now here we will have pi over 8 times I'll replace the f of 0 with sine 0. So here we have sine 0 plus 2 times so here f of 0 plus i is 1 for the first iteration. So i is equal to 1 here. So 1 times pi over 4 is pi over 4. So we have here sine pi over 4. So I'm replacing f of pi over 4 directly with sine pi over 4 here. Plus, now i is equal to 2. So 2 times pi over 4 is 2 pi over 4. So here it will be sine 2 pi over 4. Plus we have sine, now the i will be equal to 3, so 3 pi over 4. Plus we have f of v, which is sine pi. And using your calculator and radians, you will get the answer as 1.89. 11890. So we have calculated all the values of I11, I12, and I13. Now we will have to calculate I21 and I22. So for I21, you need I11 and I12. But if you don't remember the formula, you could always use the main formula, which is k comma j is equal to i k minus 1 j plus 1 plus i k minus 1 comma j plus 1 minus i k minus 1 comma j divided by 4 to the power k minus 1 
minus 1. So if we already know the formula for i 2 comma 1, so this is our value of k here and this here is j and then here we'll have i k minus 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1 j plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 here plus we have here i 1 comma 2 again minus i k minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 and comma j which is 1 divided by 4 to the power k is 2 minus 1 minus 1 here so 2 minus 1 is 1, so 4 to the power 1 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. I'll directly place here this with 3. And now we have our values for I12 and I11. We use those values now here. So we have 1.5707-9633 plus 1.5707-9633 minus 0 divided by 3 and this gives us the answer as 2.09 5107 and then now we can calculate i2 comma 2 so directly using the table I know I have to use now these two values here for i2 comma 2 I need this value here and this one here so I'll use them and so I'll have here i1 comma 3 plus I1 comma 3 minus I1 comma 2 divided by 3. So here I have the values. I1 comma 3 is 1.89680 plus 1.896-11890 minus I1 comma 2 that's 1.5707-9633 divided by 3 and this gives me the value 2.5707 five five nine seven five seven okay now let's go ahead and calculate what the question actually asked us for that is i three comma one and for this we have the formula as i two comma two plus i two comma two minus i two comma one divided by so again we have 4, k is 3 now, minus 1, minus 1 here, so 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 to the power 2 is 16, 16 minus 1 is 15, so I can replace this one here with 15, so that will give me the answer as, if I use the values correctly, I'll get here 1.9985. 707 Okay, and that would be the final answer to this question here using the long run integration.